Hello, I'm Roots, and I'm inviting you inside my head. All right, everyone, this is the inaugural video in my new Inside My Head series. In this series, I'm basically gonna talk about whatever the hell I wanna talk about. Whatever's going on in my head at that time, that is what I'm gonna talk about. Videos in the background are not necessarily going to pertain directly to what is being said, but they're there to keep you from staring at a black screen. In doing a series like this, I have to stop and ask myself, why would anybody out there care what I have to say? And the answer is, I, I don't really know. You may or may not. You know, I'm hopefully you will find something in these videos that you can relate to, something that kind of touches on a, a common thread that we have. But in order to set up these videos, I feel I need to give a better introduction of myself. If you're a fan of the channel, if you're a subscriber, um, you know, you may have an idea of what I'm about, what kind of games I like, how I play, you know, maybe a little more about me. If you're new to the channel, you have no clue who I am and really have no reason to stick around for the videos. So this video is to give you a little better sense of who I am and where I'm coming from. By understanding my perspective, you should better be able to relate to these videos. So naturally, seeing as I have a gaming channel, I am a gamer. So I've been a gamer as long as I can remember. I started out with the Intellivision, which was kind of a an Atari competitor, and it had the strangest controller I have ever seen. Nintendo's come out with some weird stuff. This one takes the cake. It had like a circular rotating pad with like a, a number button off your telephone and really weird. You know, I, I played Burger Time until my thumbs were like bloody. It, great game, loved it. So I started out there. My aunt actually had an Atari 2600, so I played on that. You know, I remember begging for the Nintendo when it came out, and finally my parents got it for me for Christmas. Holy cow, you could not find me for weeks. I was in my little cave with Mario, and it was me and Mario. I, You know, you're going down, Bowser. That was it. And I don't know how many times I beat that game, but I would beat it, start over, beat it again, start over, you know, and I, I just loved it. And we used to have babysitters come over and we used to milk our parents for the opportunity to go rent a game. We're like, oh, well, we're going to basically massacre this babysitter if you don't get us video games. And so, you know, I would I'd go and I'd rent games and just I would pretty much beat a game every time I rented it. I mean, that's how dedicated I was. And then from there on, the problem was I never had the systems when they came out. My parents were like, you've got a Nintendo. That's good enough. So when Super Nintendo came out. Genesis came out. I was the guy like knocking at my friend's door like some sort of freak and I was like, can I come in? I want to play Mortal Kombat, you know, and they're like, dude, what? Get away. You're freaking me out, you know, but I, I just I loved the games. I don't know why I had such a connection with them, but I it touched on something in me. I don't know if it was the challenge of it or, you know, if it was the, the fantasy and the escapism. I don't know, but I've it struck a chord with me and it's something that I have loved and enjoyed ever since. So as soon as I could start buying my own systems, uh, N64, Playstations, GameCube, Playstation 2, you know, all that, boom, pre-orders, you know, whenever I could. I remember I got the day one Playstation 2, which any of you guys who had the day one Playstation 2 may know that it, it was a little iffy sometimes. Surprisingly, my system is still working today. I, I would assert that that is probably the greatest system that's ever been built. I don't care about any of the new ones, anything coming out, PlayStation 2, that's where it's at. Love it. So I've always had a variety of gaming systems as well. I've never been a fanboy. I, I've never wanted to limit myself to something. Definitely since the PlayStation 1, I've been a Sony fan. Didn't really get so much on the, the Nintendo kick. Uh, the 64 was cool, the GameCube was cool. I always found a lack of games that, that fit my play style. So I didn't get as much into those, but I've been with Sony for a while. And until the PlayStation 3, that was my dedicated system. The PlayStation 3, I like the exclusives. I, you know, I think when it is tapped to its potential, it is unbeatable. The problem is Sony banked on so much craziness that it's difficult for developers. And, and I'm kind of getting off on a rant. This is totally another video. But then I branched out, I got the, the Xbox because I saw games like Gears of War and other exclusives on that system that, you know, I couldn't deny myself, of course, I had to get that. And so that's where I am. I've been a gamer since I was very little. Aside from just playing the games, I have done some programming and some other technical nerdy stuff. 
nothing major. I'm not like a game modder. I don't do anything like that. I've done some very rudimentary things. So it kind of gives me a bit of an understanding what developers have to go through and what we see on screen isn't that easy to put on screen. So even a crappy game, there's a lot of work that went into it. So I can appreciate games from that perspective. So both from the developer side and the gamer side, you know, I can I kind of see where things are coming from. So hopefully that will translate into the videos and give me a unique perspective. But the underlying thing in all of my assessments of games and everything surrounding them is fun. Games are designed to be fun. You could have the best graphics, the greatest controls, the, the greatest sound effects ever. Who cares? If the game is not fun, I'm not going to play it. And you're going to see in most of my videos, that's what it comes down to. If I'm having fun with the game, it will show. Those are the videos that are going to show up on my channel. Those are the things I'm going to talk about. And anything that takes away from the fun, I'm going to rant against. Because it's going against what gaming was meant for. And I think sometimes people forget that. That's basically where I'm coming from. I'm a long-time gamer who really enjoys games and enjoys having fun with them. That's who I am and that is where all of these videos are going to come from. Hopefully, that is kind of a common ground or sets up a common ground between you and me. So expect videos in this series to basically, like I said, talk about anything I want to talk about. Mostly they're going to be gaming related, but this gives you an idea of where I'm coming from and, and the perspective from which I'm attacking things. And I definitely want to hear what your perspective is. Let me know in the comments. It'd be awesome if this was more of a dialogue. I don't want this to necessarily be one-sided me just, here's how it is. I want to know what you think. So feel free to react. Whether you love what I say, whether you hate what I say, I want to hear what you think. So just let me know in the comments to any of these videos. And these are probably going to become fairly regular on the channel because, you know, when I'm supposed to be working or whatever, things pop in my head. And sometimes I just have to get them out at some point. And it's nice to come home and lay down a little audio and give it to you guys and see what happened. So we're going to stop this introduction here. If you guys need to know anything more about me to find a common ground, let me know in the comments. I'll share whatever I can. I'm not going to get too personal. So wrapping up, there's where I'm coming from. That's who I am. That's the perspective from which I am coming when doing these videos. If you think you're going to enjoy this series or you've enjoyed anything else on the channel, all I ask is please tell a friend about it. Again, my name's Roots, and it's time for you to get out of my head.